Life Boost. Today we are going to make a honey lavender simple syrup and a honey lavender latte. This is in celebration of our brand new flavor that we have out now, and that is the honey lavender coffee roast. Um, Dependent upon your mood, you may prefer a cold brew, which the simple syrup would come in handy for, or maybe you want a hot latte. So I'm gonna show you how to make that honey lavender milk for the latte. Either way, these are both going to be delicious. We will be using culinary grade lavender for this recipe, with, for these recipes, um, which you can find online on Amazon or at one of your local farmer's markets, something like that. Um, we're also going to need some honey and some cane sugar. Um, for the milk, obviously, we'll need a milk as well. I'm going to use a flax milk. You can use whatever your milk preference is. I will let you know that flax milk tends to not get as frothy as some of the other fattier milks, but I prefer this one for my non-dairy uh, plant-based milk that I'm going to use. Okay, we are first going to make the simple syrup. Um, the simple syrup is just like the fruit simple syrups that we made with the raspberry and the blueberry. I have one half of a cup of water, one half of a cup of cane sugar in here, and I am just going to heat this until my sugar has completely dissolved. Once all of that cane sugar has dissolved, then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of the culinary grade lavender flowers, and we're gonna allow that to simmer for about 15 minutes before we strain out the flowers. Okay, so all of my cane sugar has dissolved, and I'm going to just put this culinary grade lavender, one tablespoon, directly into that simple syrup so that we can start infusing that lavender. And I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer and allow this to simmer for about 15 minutes so that the lavender can incorporate into our simple syrup so we can get that nice flavor for our cold brew. Okay, so this has been simmering for 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and I'm going to need a fine mesh strainer to get that lavender out of our simple syrup. Of course, be very careful with this since this is going to be very hot. I'm going to slowly pour this. And you'll just discard the lavender that is left. And then I'm going to funnel this into a syrup container and set this aside so that it can cool while I make my honey lavender milk for the latte. So there's that. I'm gonna allow this to cool, set this aside, and move on to our milk. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the honey lavender milk for the latte. You will need 10 ounces of your milk choice. Again, I chose a flax milk. If you wanna choose a fattier milk to get a better froth at the end, go for it. Um, we'll also need one teaspoon of honey that I have here and one teaspoon of that culinary grade lavender. Um, all of these things are going to be combined into our saucepan here. It's still very hot from our syrup. Okay, so we're gonna add in that milk. We're gonna add in that teaspoon of honey. And we're gonna add in that teaspoon of lavender. And we're just gonna mix this all together really well. And we're gonna simmer it for five minutes. So not quite as long. And again, you're working with a milk and milk can scorch very easily. So make sure that you're stirring continuously um, so that this doesn't scorch on the bottom. And you're just gonna let this simmer in heat for five minutes so that we can infuse that lavender. And once again, we will strain this through a fine mesh um, strainer to get the lavender out and only use that leftover milk. Okay, so after about five minutes of heating, your milk should begin to simmer and that's your cue to go ahead and turn off the heat. And then what we're going to do is just like with the simple syrup is we're going to take this liquid and strain it through our fine mesh strainer here to get that lavender out. It smells really good. You'll discard that lavender. And then you want to froth your milk 
to top that latte. Um, you will need about two ounces of espresso, freshly brewed, which I have here. So I have transferred over my milk and I'm going to go ahead and froth this up to top our latte. Now time for the magic. So I went ahead and frothed this up for about 30 seconds, which of course you can even add all of these ingredients to your um, frother and put it on a hot setting to heat your milk and froth. And we're gonna go ahead and just grab a, a spoon to try to keep some of that foam separated from our latte here. I'm gonna pour that directly into that espresso shot that we have. And then once that milk has been incorporated in, we are gonna go ahead and spoon out some of that foam for our latte. Make it nice and pretty. Of course, you can top this with more of that lavender just to make it look even better. But isn't that beautiful? So we have a nice honey lavender latte here. And now we're gonna go ahead and check on our syrup and see if that has cooled so that we can make our cold brew. All right, now we're going to make our cold brew. So I did go ahead and prepare my cold brew with the honey lavender flavored coffee ahead of time. I'm going to go ahead and fill my glass about halfway with this. Of course, you want tons of ice for this cold brew. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the cup up with, again, a milk choice, whatever your preference is. Um, the unsweetened vanilla almond milk is really good in this too. And then take our simple syrup that we made, our honey lavender, or I'm sorry, just lavender, simple syrup for this one. You could certainly add some honey if you would like. I would do at least a teaspoon worth. Mix that up. And cheers. So now you know how to make a honey lavender simple syrup that you can use in hot or cold drinks. I just chose to use it in a cold brew with our new honey lavender life boost flavored coffee. Um, or you can make, of course, a hot honey lavender milk for a latte. If you do choose to try out one of these recipes, please let me know what you think of them and which one you prefer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.